uh, you know, Prime Minister Modi is now meeting the top ministers of the government. This is the update that we have for you. Prime Minister Modi in Parliament is meeting his top ministers, Rajnath Singh, Amit Shah, Nitin Gadkari. They are all part of this meeting. Uh, Pail Mehta is there inside uh, the Parliament House. I'm hoping she'll join me in just a bit. Uh, but this has been a protocol. Prime Minister does meet his senior cabinet colleagues ahead of parliament session especially on days that crucial bills are coming in or crucial government business is being carried out and the women's reservation bill uh, the bsc the business advisory committee in rajya sabha has already allocated seven and a half hours for discussion in lok sabha also at 11 am uh, you know so in five minutes from now the discussion uh, on the, the bill will begin and i think by the end of the proceedings in lok sabha today uh, the house will pass uh, that bill um, while waiting for pile to join us on the phone line pallavi if you're still there Prime Minister meeting the senior ministers. Uh, do you think there could be any more surprise? There were some, uh, some you know, okay, Pail, Pail Mehta is through with me. Pail, this big meeting that the Prime Minister is doing with the cabinet colleagues, uh, senior ministers of the cabinet, any idea what's on the table? This is essentially the strategy meeting that the government holds up before the start of the day's proceedings. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi is chairing that meeting. It is happening in the presence of several ministers in the government, Amit Shah, Rajnath Singh, Nitin Gadkari, Anurag Singh Thakur are in that meeting and so is BJP's National President J.P. Nadda. So this is a strategy ahead of this big day which is in Lok Sabha today when the government is looking at passing uh, the women's reservation bill, uh, you know, uh, this evening. So that's a strategy that they will really adopt because they would have seen what the reaction of the opposition parties were. But just a short while ago, I tried to ask Sonia Gandhi whether or not she was happy with uh, the form of the bill that has come. But she did not say anything as far as that is concerned. So let's wait and watch as to what really transpires right so while while this while this could be a regular strategy meeting i think some ministers also gave you a hint that the government could have more quote unquote surprises in store for us in this special session any further uh, you know clarity on that well most of the ministers in the government today have been a little quiet they have not said anything much but there was a very senior minister in the government who yesterday told us categorically that this is not the end of the story there will be more in store I don't know if they were trying to like, actually take posture to uh, have fun at our cost or we actually were being serious because, you know, remember when the cabinet meeting uh, happened uh, just a couple of days ago to approve the women's reservation bill, even though the government put out a visual thing, a very important cabinet meeting underway. So that's normally not the trend. Normally the government keeps absolutely mum. You get no visuals of the cabinet, but they were specifically sent as well. So it's just a matter of the day. So we'll have to wait and see what transpires tomorrow. But the big ticket story today is the women's reservation bill uh, in the Lok Sabha. Uh, even as that parties like DMK uh, will continue to protest about the Hindi position, the Hindi naming, and some parties from the left are saying, uh, some leaders from the left are saying that this should not have been called any bill and the PM was in the wrong, given the fact that this is a constitutional amendment, so this bill cannot have a name. All right, Pail Mehta, thank you so much for getting us that insight from inside Parliament.